Well, hello, good evening. And if, uh, I'm so sorry to hear that Mike, my um, my director, Mr. Mike, uh, I'm happy to tell Mr. Mike if he comes on to see the, uh, I figured out the one of the, I just used an old template. I was having problems with the camera, so I figured it out. But I'm so sorry to hear that uh, his uh, a tree went got went through his roof during the storms in the Pacific Northwest. So I'm so sorry to hear that, Mike. So if you uh, if you log in, uh, my uh, my thoughts and heart is with you and your wife. Um, what a what a scary ordeal to go through. But you guys come home from work and you see a tree through your house. So uh, I hope you guys continue to be safe out there and um, and have fun in the, the insurance journey, right? Uh, anyhow, thanks again for helping me through all my technical stuff. I want to say hello to Slayers on uh, YouTube. Hello, Tamalyn Smiles on YouTube. This is going to be a little different audience tonight because I'm logging in so late. It's uh, It's, what, 10 o'clock here. Uh, it's actually, let me see what time it is. It's, yep, it's 10 o'clock uh, p.m. at night. I just am so excited. This is the, we're going to draw a, a tree root lesson today, by the way, just to show you. This is a, a working my way through different lessons in my new book you can draw in 30 seconds. But look at this cool lesson we're going to draw. We're going to draw this one right here. It's just, it's a really great, see that? We're going to draw that. It's a really great, and this is how it looks in the actual lesson. I did this today earlier in my uh, 6.30 uh, Mighty Mondays live Zoom class. And see that? Isn't that fun? It's, my Mighty Mondays are for all my families of uh, draw3d.com. And I'll tell you more about that in a little bit. But I wanted to show you. I'm, I'm so excited. Um, uh, Emilio, Emilio Palala. Uh, hello from Guatemala, Central America. Emilio, so good to see you. Hello, hello. I haven't seen you on my one of my lives in a long time. So wonderful, wonderful to have you. Emilio, you're, you are here for uh, a very exciting event here. You are here for a, a very, very exciting event. And I'm going to uh, show you guys. I just finished, so I'm getting some blank paper here. Um, I just finished, just tonight. This has been a, about a six-month project to... Um, uh, to do this new book. It's called Half Hour of Pencil Power. So I, was, I think I've shown you this one. This is, uh, uh, this was the dinosaur ride. There's 25 lessons here. I'm going to show you real quick. And there's the, uh, oop, what I'm going to do is I'm going to, I'm going to put, uh, I think I'll put blank paper in, in the middle here to protect them. There's my Jazz on Jupiter. That's one of the lessons. And I'm going to show you, I'm going to go through here and show you. There's the, uh, there, these are so fun. There's the bat. I just did all the text. I just finished. I just uploaded the last description, the last text. There was my uh, three monkeys in a tree. And I'm so excited. This book is uh, due to be out. Uh, hey, Rob Mulligan. Uh, good to see you on Facebook. This book is due to be released next summer from Hatchet Publishers. And I'm just going through here and I'm putting my all the final drawings together in the folder and then this was good look at that there's the my uh, the my furry worm isn't that fun i'll zoom that in so you guys can see it better isn't that fun the furry worm that's what it, so there's 25 lessons in this book and i just i have i've never uh, seen them all in a row so this is really cool so there's the uh the traffic jam the blockheads this was inspired by gumby gumby and pokey and the blockheads yeah, hello, Richard Alvin. I am. I'm on late tonight. I just finished. I just finished this book after six months. My new book, my next book called uh, Our Half Hour Pencil Power. And I'm just walking you through the illustrations. We're going to do a drawing tonight. We're going to draw the tree root. But I just wanted to show you that there's a one point perspective. We're going to be doing one of these in November. As the, And here's a boy. I just had so much fun doing this. It just took me a long time because you see, I did a. Uh, I did the shading technique of the, the uh, scribble technique. See that? See that? Uh, when is it available? It'll it'll be in uh, this, this summer coming up. Next, this summer coming up. 
But I do have my, if you guys want to get a great book for the uh, gift for this Christmas, you guys, get my, my new one, my You Can Draw in 30 Seconds book. It's on Amazon. It's my favorite book that I have written to date, and then this one's coming out. But this is the book that I would recommend you guys get. Okay, for Christmas, for uh, Hanukkah, for all, any of your winter holidays, you can get the whole set. You can draw in 30 seconds, you can draw in 30 days, and uh, my You Can Draw in 30 Minutes. It's a great set. Get all three from Amazon. Um, if you only get one, get the You Can Draw in 30 Seconds. That I'm just so proud of this book, and I'm going to be using a, a, a lesson from that book tonight after I show you. I'm just going just to show you all 25. I want to show you all 25 illustrations. Oh, thank you, Rob Mulligan, for putting that uh, link up there on the... I appreciate it. You guys take care of me. I appreciate that. Oh, look at Here's the kangaroo. Isn't this fun? It's really neat to, to see to see all the all these uh, completed drawing lessons. There's the kangaroo. And then, uh, oh, this was the balloon house inspired by the movie Up, of course. I had many students help animate that movie and up. So, and I did, I did these on a tracing board on really thin, just regular copy paper. And it wasn't the easiest to work with. So I struggled through it, but it, uh, they turned out, I like to draw on thicker cardstock. There's Humpty Dumpty, the final step for that one. That was fun. And, uh, and this is what they, the looks like. See, I do, I do a preliminary sketch. And then I I, I do a, a really loose, you know, a, a series of what the steps are. And a whole lesson takes me about, uh, all together, probably four hours a lesson about here. Some some take longer. Like here's the, this is the magic carpet one. That, see, that's, that, that, that's the sketches for the mummy, the magic carpet. And then I put stories in each one here. And let me see what uh, if I yep here it is here's the mummy magic carpet one. Isn't that fun, you guys? So that's a get uh, I teach you how to draw that in the book, okay? And um, so I'm gonna I'm just gonna layer them up here. I'm gonna make a whole stack, a whole collection. I'm excited. I'm turning these into NFTs. If any of you uh, uh, are having my first five in NFTs being released. I think this weekend, so I'm very, very excited about it. Do any of you, uh, ever, are you? Do any of you collect or trade NFTs? This is my first foray into it, and this is another uh, lesson from the, the, uh, and I and I just put them in sequence. I don't have them in sequence here, but I can show you what they look like. And um, boy, this has a sure has a lot of drawings. And oh, this was fun. Look at. Look at the, the Godzilla baby, uh, baby Godzilla. So this is fun. I'm putting all the final drawings up here. Hello, uh, Vo Vocheri Thomas from uh, on YouTube. So great to see you. I'm just so pleased to have you guys join me tonight. I, uh, I don't know why I don't do these every day because I get so motivated. I, I'm just, I get so tired in the evenings. I'm an old man now and I get tired in the evenings. And uh, but I really wanted to do one. Then as soon as I go, as soon as I turn on the camera, as soon as I turn on the camera, I get uh, you guys motivate me so much. I appreciate that. Uh, uh, Vol uh, Volcheri Thomas from uh, YouTube, my eyes, my old eyes, used to watch me on the Secret City. Oh, I love that. So uh, they're talking about the series, the Secret City. Here it is. They're talking about the series right here. The Secret City, Commander Mark. Thank you so much for remembering that. After that series, we actually did a program called Imagination Station. And uh, this one is on um, It's on Amazon Prime. I don't know where my Amazon Prime card is here. Uh, by the way, I want to thank you for subscribing and liking and following me on YouTube. I really, really appreciate it. And on uh, Facebook and on Instagram. Thank you so much. I really appreciate that. Thanks for following me. Amazon Prime is uh, the Imagination Station. You can see a bunch of episodes on Amazon Prime. It's a really, really wonderful uh, series. Um, we actually won the Emmy for that. 
for the Secret City series, if you guys want to do something, if you remember the Secret City, you want to see something really cool, look at this wonderful uh, piece of art that was created. Hey, Spencer Jennings. Spencer Jennings, how are you, you wild man? Do you tell Bean I said hello? I loved your Facebook post of you guys running to the mailbox to grab the, the book that I sent you guys. And uh, Spencer G says, Bean and I are constantly in cons con consistently inconsistent followers. Ah, I love that. Spencer, you are such a maverick and such a, a creative uh, soulmate, I tell you. Um, thank you so much for joining me. Richard Alvin Blanchard, thank you so much for uh, uh, for uh, watching and replying and emilio said beep 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 stresses on the bus living the dream all right so if you guys want to get this wonderful art print uh all the these sales all the proceeds go to my nonprofit mark kessler's imagination initiative this was created by michael calero a very very talented uh, fan of my the secret city it's just it's a wonderful i don't know what's going on with the color it's kind of weird isn't it kind of weird coloring and maybe i'll open up the light a little bit that's, uh, um, it's, ooh, look, it's phasing in different colors. That's wild. <laughs> this is a $40 art print, and all, all the proceeds go to, it's 11 by 17, okay? It's 11 by 17 print. Now, listen, if you try to buy this, if you want to get this, and if in the comment book, in the comment box, if you, if you write, hey, uh, we saw that on YouTube Live, and I want, uh, can you send me a free book? I'll send you a free $20 book. If you get that $40 print right there, it's a wonderful art print. I will send you a free $20, uh, and I'll autograph the front. There's a page right here. I'll autograph it. Be sure that in the comment box, I got a, I had an order yesterday that someone ordered it, and they said, hey, send me a free book, and I'm going to, but they forgot to write who I should autograph the book to, and so I, my default is to autograph it to the person who bought it, but I know this is gift-giving season, and the, you guys are getting a lot of gifts, so... Uh, um, make sure in the comment when you when you make the purchase, make sure you make the comment, okay? All right. Uh, oh, this is a good one. This is a fun one. This is Ninja Banana. This is uh, now I'm thinking I want to draw Ninja Banana tonight. I love Ninja Banana. Look at that. Is it not fun, Ninja Banana? All right. So these are I'm going to convert these all to original NFTs. And if you guys can can. Uh, uh, Spencer Jenny, send me a Christmas card. Well, thank you very, very much. I appreciate that. Um, the Christmas cards are not, are not very, not very many people do that. So thank you for taking the time to actually physically fill out a card and send it to me. I think, oh, I have, here's, here's, I, I'm getting down to the final, for the final images. This one's called, uh, uh, the flight of imagination. It's inspired by Calvin and Hobbes. Uh, um, by Bill Watterson's uh, Trans Transformers Warrior. I can't remember the the name, but he he has a wonderful character, and that's totally inspired by Bill Watterson. One of my all time favorite drawings. Uh, Doctor Seuss, of course, the inner Geisel. I just I just love his drawings. I I actually wrote a whole piece about here. Here's one called uh, 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 Aunt Penelope. Isn't that wonderful? There's Aunt Penelope. I had so much fun. Look at I'm saying, isn't that wonderful to my own drawing? How's that for being modest? Okay, I think that's it. I think that's our 20. Oh, nope. There's another one. Is this it? I don't know which one was the... That was step seven. I don't know what step eight. Hold on a second here. Uh, nope. This is step eight. I, can't, there's, I think that was my last one. That was the step eight. I'm, I'm pretty sure... I think it was. I think I think that was my last one. My last. I think I'm going through the pages. That's 25, guys. What do you think? Oh well, wait. I. I oh, I have another one. There's a lot. I have one called the the mermaid. Where's the mermaid? I forgot this one. Look at. Oops. I got to put a piece of paper down in between to protect it, so I can make an NFT. Anybody, do any of you guys gather, do any of you guys follow or gather or collect NFTs? I'm working with this awesome, uh, awesome uh, old fan, an old fan from Montreal, Stefan. And hello, Stefan. He's uh, he's uh, the creator of the NFT magazine. And he uh, 
he got he he purchased that this art piece right here. He purchased this art piece from, and from one of my webcasts, and then uh, he uh, we communicated back and forth. And he said, "Oh, by the way, I love the art piece. Thanks, I, I got it." And uh, hey, if you're ever interested in NFTs, let me help you out. And I sent him a note back. I said, I've, I've been hearing about it for years, and I'm curious. And so now, after many, many hours of help, uh, he's been coaching me uh, on that we're almost ready to launch her for my first five NFTs coming up. I'm so excited. Boy, this there's a lot of drawings. I, I didn't realize how many 25 drawings are, huh? Because I still have more drawings coming up here. I think that, nope, I still have another one after this. There's uh, the mouse. I haven't seen that in a long time. There's, boy, there's a, that, no wonder it took me so long, huh? And then the, uh, oh, here's, uh, here's the ninja squirrel. This is a fun one. This is a fun one. I had a lot of fun with the, I had a lot of fun with the background, with the final step there. And the texture. Ninja squirrel. I think that's it. I'm gonna I'm I'm going through. I think that's it. I'm going through my folder. And um that's it. So there's the 25 drawings, you guys. Are you impressed? Are you impressed? Are you impressed? Did you love it? Well, I am I'm just so excited. Finally, finally, and I'm sure my publisher is very pleased. They've been you know, I'm supposed to have this done at the end of August, right? And September, October, November, it's uh, three months. Well, which to me, this is actually really fast because all my other books have taken me, uh, you know, several years to finish. I always start off gung-ho, but then life gets in the way, right? And being a, a single dad and take care of my, my, uh, my, my boy. All right, here, put your finger in square number one. Oh, we're just going to do one drawing. We're going to do this tree here. We're going to do a tree. You guys want to draw with me? Anybody want to draw this late at night? I'm going to go to this. I'm going to go to, I'm using the book, chapter, I'm going to go to chapter uh, 12, the last chapter in the book. We were talking about this, and the whole point of this book is, see, we start, and this chapter is called Roots, and we start with a, a compass, and then we take the compass and we tilt it down. We draw, and then we use that compass to draw. I'll show you the lesson here. See, so we draw, we draw the. Well, let's just, we'll just do it together. We'll do it together. I'll just, I'll just do the whole thing here. So this is, uh, I guess I should write the page if you have the book and you want to follow me, follow along with me. The page is. The page of this lesson starts is page one sixty four. Okay, so this is, we're using page uh, 164. This is uh, chapter 12. This is chapter 12. And the lesson is called uh, Roots, Tree Roots. Okay, and we're going to do a little drawing. So what we do is, I'll just start over here. We're going to, uh, this is in the book, You Can Draw in 30 seconds and you guys can i uh, totally recommend I, I just love this book it's 201 pages available on amazon available on amazon you can draw in 30 seconds and it's a pound and a half it took me this is the one that took me over two years just about two and a half years to to, to, to finish all that it's just a, a wonderful accomplishment uh katem uh katem hi did your 30-day drawing challenge oh thank you katem Kadem did my 30-day drawing challenge. It's wonderful. Cloud Productions loves my octopi, my octopi family. All right, right here. Draw the circle. Now this is this is just just a regular looking uh, drawing compass. See that we're just gonna draw a regular compass. This is north, right? This is south. This is east. This is west. Now the the directions that I use most, you guys, as an artist, not all artists, but most artists will use is directions. I'll show you. We're gonna flop this down. But I want you to, to see it. Northeast, southeast, southwest, and northwest. This is just based on a nautical compass, right? So we're going to take this compass. Watch this. I'm going to flop it over. So put two dots. Put two dots. And you guys draw along with me. I think you'll really pick up something really good here. Draw a foreshortened circle. 
And we're going to see, we took that circle, that inside circle, and we flopped it over. We're going to make a little disc, okay? We'll make a little hockey puck. Not straight across, curve the bottom. That's contour, one of those 12 words. Remember, if you learn those 12 words, you can draw anything, anything in 3D. All right? So here's what we're doing. We're talking about the drawing compass right now. This is the last page in the You Can Draw in 30 Seconds book. And we're talking about the Renaissance words, these 12 Renaissance words, shading, size, placement, overlapping. We'll talk more. And those two charts are in, or they're in the back of this book. You can draw in 30 seconds, right? Available on Amazon. Let me show you. The charts are so handy. So the drawing compass, that's right there for you to copy. You can print prints of that. Uh, the 12 Renaissance word chart, that's very important. The 99 pencil power levels of drawing. In the back, there's also this wonderful art chart that has... Uh, 22 of the art accents that take your drawing and they help emphasize and embellish and improve your drawings. Uh, thank you, Kadem. He says, my, okay, so here we go. Thank you for the comment, Kadem. All right, I'm going to keep going on my drawing here. I'll put a dot in the middle. So I'm going to zoom in. So what we're going to do is, now before I do this, I want to jump down just, just below, just for a second. Watch this. Right down here, just just a little side lesson. Put two dots straight across from each other. Okay, it looks like we're going to fill up a whole page tonight, right? Because I just really want to show you this. Uh, uh, this is going to be our drawing direction disc. I'm going to draw a drawing direction block, a drawing direction. Put your finger in the middle. Put a dot above and below. Okay, you got that? Give me a thumbs up in there. Or send me a text saying, okay, I got it, I got it. Now, we're going to connect this. This is a squished square. It's a four shortened square, four shortening. It's one of those 12 words. These words are 500 years old. You've heard me talking about them before. I guarantee you'll hear me talk about them again and again and again. My goal is to make um, a thousand of these Marcus Live episodes, okay? I made a very generic name. So if I uh, don't do it cons consecutively, it's okay. I'm just going to keep, you know, episode through. I can just keep compiling the episodes. But eventually, over the course of the next few years, I'll get a thousand of these episodes. And I guarantee you, on these episodes, we're going to be drawing a lot of these uh, drawing direction compasses and blocks. So now watch this. This line right here, see that? This line right here, I'm going to call this line right here direction north east and direction northwest. I ran out of line uh, the, 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 down here at the bottom, see this? I ran out of line down here at the bottom, but I'm going to go ahead and show you. This line right here is in direction southeast, and this line over here is in direction southwest. Now watch this on the cube. I'm going to even the cast shadow on the ground comes down in direction southwest in that direction right there. See, and then just just to to make it cool in 3D, um, I'm having the light come from the top right, and I'll just put some shading on the side. So let's go ahead and quickly shade this disc. This is going to be our drawing direction disc. The draw, see, it's, this is blended. It's a curved object. So you take your pencil and you move it lighter and lighter and lighter. And then uh, look at this on the ground. See, look at I'm following that line, direction southwest. See that? Direction southwest for the shadow on the ground. You know, of course, this is going to change with the position of the sun. If you want to get really, really... Uh, technical. You can put the sun, and you can. It's like right here. I was trying to explain. Where is it? Did I? I did a did a lesson. Here it is. I did a lesson earlier today on my Zoom class. This is with my Fine Arts Academy kids. We did the tree, and then we did the monkey in a tree. But then I was trying to explain that wherever you put the sun, the cast shadow is going to. Let me zoom zoom this in so you can see it. You see wherever the sun is, the cast shadow. Would, will be opposite the sun. So you, you can just move that sun wherever that sun is in the sky and the shadow is going to go go opposite that, all right? So if you guys like this idea, we did this in about 50 minutes, less than an hour. These All these drawings, we did this right here in about 50 minutes. This was my night program. If you want to participate, um, please, please, please consider consider uh, 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 registering for my You Can Draw, my uh, drawing in 3D, I totally appreciate your support and your membership. This is usually a $200 a year per family membership. I'm offering it for 75% off during these live broadcasts. At least I did for the last three episodes. I'm going to add it, include it today. 
And I ha I'm having, I have a new, look at this. I'm going to give you 75. I'll give you a code. Usually, it, usually I offer 50. I'm going to give you a code up here. <coughs> give you a secret code. Put it down here in the corner. If you want that code, here's the code. If you want the code, someone, can someone put this in the text chat box? It's Kistler. It's not case sensitive. Kistler 75 off. Okay, that's the code. Kistler 75 off. And you you put you go to draw three D dot com, you go to you go to this website here draw three D dot com, and now make sure if you do buy this membership it has hundreds and hundreds four hundred lessons of uh, my, but very very important it has every Monday at um, noon and six thirty in the after in the evening we do a night family art night we had uh, almost fifty families on line tonight it was so much fun at six thirty for a whole hour. Uh, this is part of your your Draw 3D membership. I love I love having so many people participate, and I love that you can have the hundreds of lessons. But I love the live interaction on that. And don't forget, if you do get a membership for seventy five percent off, you guys, if you do get, thank you for putting that in the in the text box. If you do get one, I'm, be sure to mention that you want a free book. I will autograph it, and I'll ship you a free book. And I'm gonna get, make sure you get all these before Christmas. Okay. I'm going to try to get these out next week. It's, it's just, it's a wonderful, I'm going to autograph it. Make sure you write in the comment area what, how, you know, who you want me to autograph it to, and I'll do it. All right, so back to our, our drawing direction disc. I'm going to use, I'm taking this, the whole point, I'm taking this compass and I'm flopping it down to make it look like a 3D image. And then from here, watch this. Now I'm just going to very uh, loosely see it's wiggly. You don't have to be perfect. You don't have to be perfect. It's wiggly. I'm just, just, just sketch it in here. We, so you see what I did. So this is how I created this disc, and how I, and then you can understand now the top four shortened square. See, so this is north. This is northeast. I forget sometimes. This is northwest. This is southwest. So you, so you can see, this is southwest. This is southeast. All right, now you can see in the book, I can show you on so many illustrations where I use these these drawing directions. Look at the roadway. See, the roadway was used, I did a bunch of southwest, southeast, uh, slanting, loop-de-loops. Um, this one, this was, uh, there's just this great, there's a pencil coming down in direction southwest. I'm trying to see, there's one, there's just so many drawings in here, they're so cool. I'm trying to show you um, this one of the feet. Let me just see if I can find it real quick here. I can't find it. All right, but it, there's a, there's tons of well. Look at here. Here's one. Look look at these uh, feet of the oct this little octopus. You see see how the drawing directions help me position those. Look at the tail of the dinosaur butt. See that how these directions south east northeast southeast and southwest. So I tell you this this drawing compass is really really uh, important. I'm going to call this our drawing. Uh, direction reference is it a and c is it a and c or is it e and c reference help me here i'm having a little confidence crisis reference is it e e uh, refer r e f e r e or a i reference uh drawing direction reference compass uh hello melissa how are you melissa on facebook Hello, RF. Hello, Ed. Uh, Ed is signing up for my membership right now. Be sure, Ed, you write in the comment box. I want to send you that free book. Use the 75% off coupon. You're going to love it. Be sure to log in next Monday. It goes for 39 weeks every, during the school year. This is uh, just so great. Hello, Sean Parker. Look at all these, all the usual suspects coming in. Sean Parker from Bryan, Texas. How you doing, bud? Good to see you. All right, so let's draw this tree. So let's take what we learned here, and let's draw the tree. So I'm going to put two dots far apart, and I'll draw the four shortened circles. See that? Just a very light. Doesn't have to be perfect. Um, I'm I'm using this. I love these pencils, but I love these. They're they've gone up a lot in price. When I first started buying them, they were uh, like eight dollars each. Now they're about fifteen dollars each. It's crazy. But I I buy them by the box. Now it's hard to find a whole box of them on Amazon. But uh, if they're worth it. I, they're worth even if you have to pay fifteen dollars each. They're worth it. You can refill them, and uh, they're just they're terrific. I go through them by the case. 
Page 120. Oh, okay. Thank you, Ken. Page 120. Thank you. Thanks for that. Appreciate it. So page 120. Ken has his book. Uh, let's see the feet here. 120. 120. There he goes. See these feet right here? You see these feet? I just I wanted to show you. Now this and this in this lesson I'm talking about placement, how how near things are lower. So you can see how I put the the, the flower lower and the little child lower, and then as they they get smaller as they move higher. That's a word called placement. Also a word called size, larger and smaller, larger and smaller. And then if you look at the feet, there's just so many of these words that you use instinctually as you learn them. This foot comes down in direction south, uh, south. West and this comes on southeast. Thank you, Ken, for pointing that out. I sure appreciate it. All right, so back to our tree, back to our simple tree. Put a dot in the middle. Let's go ahead and draw our guidelines direction north uh, east, direction southwest. And then coming down here, remember, it doesn't have to be perfect. You're just flopping, you're taking this image and you're flopping it down. So I'm going to draw this tree. I'm going to draw the, the tree, the uh, tree trunk. And now at the down here now watch this this is cool i'm going to draw the the root coming down here i'm going to make this really kind of sketchy and i'm not going to do all the all eight directions the direction south and i'm just going to do four directions here i'll do the southeast uh, tree tree uh, root here now before i do the rest i'm going to go in this is kind of fun right you like it i'm trying to see what's the best position i think i'll get it right there but I want to make it larger, so maybe I'll put it up higher. So I'm going to take this and I'm going to erase now. Erase all your extra lines. You see, erase all these extra lines. So you already, you've already nailed it. You've already got this great. You've already got the great foundation there, right? You're using these Renaissance words. You're using placement for shortening size, horizon. Now the back, and watch this. I'm keeping the I'm keeping the ground here. See that? There's that back root coming up here, and then I'm going to draw this root coming down here. Just taper it, scribbling sketch. Doesn't have to be perfect. These are smaller. These are larger. These are lower. These are higher. All these words working together here. I think I'm going to put. I think just for just for kicks and giggles, I think I'll I'll take this and I'll put like a. I'm going to put like a knot hole over here coming off the tree. You draw this knot hole, draw the thickness, draw a little knot hole. And then I think what I'll do is I'm going to take this, I'm going to kind of branch it off here. And so that, see that, I'm just branch it off. See, you can just, just, you can see the beginning of the, the tree. So, so now I'm going to darken in the, the, now on the bottom down here, I'm going to go ahead and put some texture like grass. See that? And now you can see what I did. Let me zoom this out so you can see it a little better. Now look, in the book, I had so much fun. I spent hours on this last, this one page and the last page of that lesson in the time levels. Look what I did. I did I drew this this image of this tree, right? This tree. So this is the challenge. We do a bunch of time levels. But see the tree, and then let me focus it. Let's make sure you can see it. Let me add do I brighten it or darken it? Let me see if this darken it a bit here. Now look at the bottom. Isn't that wonderful? Look at I'm saying that again. Look at how it's so modest. I would say, oh, isn't it that wonderful? But this this is such a great it, practice. A squirrel's tail wrapping around. And this is such a great practice of the drawing direction compass. And now this is a fun exercise. Look at this one right here. Isn't that fun? Look at that tree, how I, I lifted it up off the ground. And then here's, this is a level. And this, I want you to, to draw this image and you check it off. There's no time limit. And this one, I want you to do this in 30 seconds. The first level of drawing success in all 12 of the chapters, there's 99 levels all together. Uh, this one right here is a three-minute level, see? Uh, this one right here, there's no, no time limit. This is the hair. There's no time limit. But there's 99 levels of drawing success in, on the, in the book. That's the whole crux of the book is to, is to go through and practice practicing your confidence will build and your skill will build and that i go over that a lot in my mighty monday classes for any of you guys who want to sign up for the draw 3d membership all right now the lights over here i'm going to put the the sun now watch this i'm going to put the shadow on the ground see this I'm, i guess i got to move this over 
I just love that shadow. I, I do the shadow. Now look at the shadows coming down in direction southwest, right? So put that shadow. I'm going to put a shadow underneath that. Branch down there. Put a shadow down here. I just make it nice and dark. Nice and dark. And then you're going to do layer upon layer. See, it's not going to not going to complete in one layer. I'm going to go through and put... I did, the shadow is what anchors it to the ground. You see this? So I'm going to draw this squiggly shadow. It anchors it instead of floating off into space. And what also help, helps is if you put a horizon line back behind here. It's kind of a reference. Thank you, Melissa and Kaden sisters. Thank you for for your your comment there. Thanks. I'm going to try to come on every day. Uh, I'm gonna I'm on episode number. This is episode four, right? Am I correct? Yeah, so this is, uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to write this, this is Mark Kistler Live, and I hope you guys get your drawing journal, and I hope you join me for these little drawings, lessons, and these are just usually, usually I just go for one drawing, now this is, I'm going nuts, I'm filling the whole page, uh, you can tell I've had my nine cups of decaf coffee with that little bit of caffeine that's still in them. But usually it's just a one drawing, about 15, 20 minutes. Now, if you want to draw with me for full hour lives, uh, please consider signing up for my 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 Draw 3D membership. It's a wonderful, it's a wonderful, wonderful, wonderful uh, website. It has uh, family membership. I have been at it for over, I got to change this. Been at it for over to, uh, nearly 20 years now. Over 50,000 members, hundreds of lessons. Here's the uh, code: Kissless 75 off. Forget 50% off. And usually it's $200 for a year. It's $49 for a year. Appreciate it. Now, if you want, I'll include uh, this PDF with your order, the Draw Through Gift of Drawing. Do you guys want that? If you want to get it for a gift for your niece and nephew, your neighbors, your, your classroom, your teacher's classroom, we'd love to have you. And while we're at it, thanks, guys. Thank you so much for subscribing and liking and following. Go up right now. Click that bell on YouTube, and follow me on Facebook, okay, follow me on Facebook, would love it, and uh, remember, if you do get a drawing of 3D membership, if you get use that 75% off code, it's not $200, it's $49 for the year for your family, uh, be sure to mention that you want to get the book, I'll send you a free book, the free book, so not only is it 75% off, but you get a $20 book, so basically, you're getting the whole $200, $200 uh, course for the year, uh, for 20 bucks, right? If you, if you look at it that way. Okay. Now I'm going to put, I'm going to have the light coming from the top, right? So now watch what I'm going to do. I'm going to use, I'm going to use these, just some, uh, squiggly lines to give the impression. I want to give the impression of, of, uh, of the wood grain, right? I want to see, I'm going to do it for the whole tree. I want to put this wood grains here. I want to put wood grain, to it, but I'm going to make it a little bit darker. You see that? I'm just going to very lightly, see this really light first. See, I just take it and I want to put texture. I want to put this, I love this texture. And then I'll darken it. I'll go through and I'll add more detail. I just want to add a little value to it. Then I'll go back in and I'll add more. And I'll squiggle it and add more detail in here. So what I'll do is I'll go along, I'll just do, I'm using the texture to shade it. Isn't that interesting? See that? I'm using the texture of the, of the grain to give that shading. So I'm going to darken it here. Are you guys having fun? Uh, Melissa, will the offer still good be for you? Yes. You send me, you send that, use that code. You send that code, Melissa. and. Uh, You'll get that offer for, uh, you know, absolutely. I'm not going to turn that offer off, so you can, uh, well, I'm not going to turn it off before Christmas anyways. All right, shade it down here. Shade it down here. All right, look, at I'm just having fun on that one. Isn't that cool? All right, well, there's your tree. Marcus Alive, episode four. Bam! Our date today is 11-15-2021. And I want to thank you guys for, for drawing with me. I always have to look up here. 
Uh, Jack Moore. Hello, Jack Moore. Hey, Jack, I just uh, finished. I just finished my, uh, I think it's my 17th book. I'm so excited. Jack Moore is the uh, co-creator and motivator and producer of this series we did. We did a TV series, a webcast series called uh, uh, Draw Artemis, Draw Artemis Live. And I was just looking at these pictures today, Jack. It makes you want to start doing some more webcast, huh? So Jack and Patricia, his wife, and I, we just had so much fun. We had featured uh, guest NASA artists and engineers and scientists, and we actually had an astronaut on one of the episodes. Here's a, Let me show you a few of these. If you, if you, I still have these episodes, Jack, right here. Uh, well, I have that one. I have a few anyway. It's right here. The, the, so if you guys want to see these Draw Artemis, it celebrates the uh, the wonder and excitement and just the, the splendor of, of space exploration and the possibilities. And it it's a wonderful uh, webcast series emphasizing how important artists are and the whole uh, NASA effort because the artists are able to translate to the world uh, these complicated ideas from the engineers and the math uh, and the scientists and the mathematicians. I hope I'm, I'm summarizing that right, Jack. So anyways, Jack, thanks for, thanks for logging in. You always, uh, you always brighten my day. So thanks a lot, Jack. Oh, hey, you guys, if you want to watch that series, this Draw Artemis series right here with NASA, teamed up with NASA. So it's it's basically Draw through Mark Kissa, Draw 3D, uh, Artemis and NASA. We we all teamed together uh, with Jack Moore and Patricia Moore from NASA, and we did it. It's on YouTube. It's on my YouTube. And while you're there, please uh, remember to subscribe, like, and uh, follow me on YouTube. Okay. I want to thank you guys for joining me tonight. I hope you enjoyed the drawing lesson. I think I am going to go to go to bed and get some rest. Thank you guys. Hey, Don, thank you for being a longtime fan. I appreciate it. Make sure you subscribe, you guys. Bye, everybody. Fist bump for being creative.